and we're live. Um, the, the the sequel to it will be coming. The movie was not good. Like like like, like I gotta say, oh, like, you like saw I saw the new it. I still have. I I Chiz and I watched it, and we were both like like first of all, Chiz and I recently watched The Conjuring together. It's fucking scary. All right, Chiz didn't find it to be as scary as maybe I had built it up to be, but you know when you when you when you build something up, your mind can paint terrifying pictures and the conjuring perhaps didn't live up to those however the conjuring is frightening there there are maybe four points in the movie where you're just where, where I, I i yell out loud and i'm just like ah fuck and there's at least four or five more that are really scary and uh but but it I wasn't scared at any point during that entire movie the cgi was so it, it wasn't bad but it wasn't scary like, was like it, uh when you say it wasn't scary to you do you mean there weren't any like pop-up scares that really got you or the entire feel of the movie didn't the pull entire you in feel. and creep you out? Both, both. Um, the pop-up ch- scares, you were just, you're like, all right, here it comes, here it comes. And it's not even scary. It's not even scary. And there was no like dread built up. I didn't think the scariest part of the entire movie was the fact that the girl's father was very rapey. That was the scariest thing. That was the only fear throughout the whole thing was like, God, is he going to fuck her? Like, like he's getting real grabby with this 13 year old girl. He's like, you're still my little girl, right? What do you got in that bag? Some tampons. Oh, you're still Is my that little a real girl. Thing or are you just saying yeah, that? No? yeah, yeah. He's oh, like stroking her hair. He's like, yo, your that hair. sounds pretty scary. I want to jump like, in and say I mixed up Hank Green and John Green, just to cut people off who say I mixed up <laughs> Hank Green and John cool. Green. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was the only like fucked up thing in the whole movie. The 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 the, the like you know the monster which sort of takes on the form of whatever you're most afraid of. Like, it, eh. I mean, at one point, it, it grabs a little boy and rips his arm off. But the, the in practice, it's not scary. You're just like, eh, I guess that kid's going to die. I, it was kind of funny. You could almost laugh at it. Like, like there was an SNL bit where, um, who was it that was down in the... the oh, it was that plays Ke- Kellyanne Conway. It was Kellyanne Conway. She was it down in the sewer. No. Hey there, it's Kellyanne Conway here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because of her makeup. But it wasn't actually Kellyanne Conway. It was the uh, same. No, of actress. course not. Well, it's Saturday Night Live. You said it was Kellyanne Conway. Kellyanne Conway's been on the show, I think. Anyway, it was the same actress that plays Kellyanne Conway. What is uh, what's your all-time scariest movie that you guys have ever seen? The I know con- that's a tough one because it's uh, hard to. Uh, to- the Exorcist is very fucking scary uh, because it spends a lot of time building up that dread and establishing the characters. And when you finally get to the show, when when that girl is raspily say stabbing her, when she's stabbing herself in the vagina with a crucifix, she scre- screaming, "Let Jesus fuck you! Let Jesus fuck you!" And the priest is like, "What the shit? Like that's scary to me. That that movie's quite scary. Um, and yeah, uh, The Conjuring, honestly, is one of the scariest movies. And the um, the Ascent." The de- no, excuse me. The, the descent. The descent. Yeah. The descent. I find, I especially when I watched it in like 2006. I want to say when it came out in theaters. At that point in my life, I was, I, I came out and I was like, "That's the scariest movie I've ever seen." That's it right there, like far and none. Descent now, of course, I have my. Not had that impact on me. I'm sorry, that was a break. My scariest movie, I, because it caught me at the right time in my life. Original Poltergeist. That movie. Oh, really? It's, maybe you were older when you saw it. I don't know. Rated PG. I don't think so. How much you would bet? Five dollars. Done. All right, PayPal bet. You just lost. Um, that movie was rated PG. I don't even have to check. Yeah, have to check. <laughs> you were so confident, but every so often I'm right on these, but not this time. Um, that movie freaked me out, and uh I, I don't know it, it, there were tvs in my house static was a thing that would happen on tvs back in the day that freaked me out all sorts of dark like you know closed doors or rooms you didn't use all the time like you know your parents closet or something became suspect and it it just i don't know it it, it was the right kind of scary for where i was have you seen the paranormal activity movies oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah i saw that i saw the first one in theaters pretty good but the, they are excellent so the first one they made it and then ah oh, who's the director it might maybe spielberg uh, so they made this movie for like a super low budget let's call it quarter million dollars half million dollars something like that maybe a million but whatever and uh i want to say spielberg saw it and he was like you got the framework 
for our incredible movie here. Here's an extra like million. We're gonna we're gonna beef this up and like we're gonna make this a blockbuster and, and that's what happened if I remember correctly and it, it made a ton of money like 125 150 million on like one and a quarter million budget something like that that's a very scary movie um, the first one especially there's a part where they keep hearing something up in the attic and the husband goes up that attic ladder to check it out and there's no music and in fact it's silence like you can almost hear white noise it's so quiet and he's like looking up there and you know the, the camera pans really slowly so you you, you want to be like huh, huh, like 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 left right check the whole attic in a fraction of a second like like we probably would like huh. but he's just like slowly looking so at any moment you expect something to grab him and then he's like what what's this here and it's a picture of the little girl of, of his mm -hmm. wife his girlfriend or whatever when she was a little girl at like her old house and it's burnt. And the thing was that her old house was burnt down. So the, yeah. and, the and, and he's like, how could this even be here? And then like six seconds later, the monster, the invisible monster grabs her and starts dragging her screaming down the hallway. It's it, that one really scared me uh, pretty badly. And of course my own personal predilections to aliens mean that fire in the sky and the fourth kind uh, absolutely horrify me. Not in that order, though. The Fourth Kind is scarier than Fire in the Sky. If you want a really, truly terrifying movie, The Fourth Kind fucked me up. I had to take. I had kind. to watch. It. I haven't even heard of that one. So you ever see that movie, Close Encounters of the Third Kind? Long yeah. Long time ago. That's that's when you make contact with an alien. When you visually see one, like over there, there he is. The Fourth Kind is when they take you. It's uh, it's got Mila Jovovich in it. And um, I want to say she's like a, a therapist or a psychologist or something like that. And she's treating all of these various town folk who have this same nightmare is about the owl. she super hot? Mila Jovovich is the chick from Resident Evil. Um, she's, uh, she's very attractive, I okay. think. Um, she's got sort of a haircut down to here. Very skinny, very flat chested, but very pretty. Um, that's a real scary um, movie. Let me do this. If we're finishing up on the the scary story thing, or mm. not scary story, scary movie, yeah. Like, don't let my answer be poisoned by the subsequent movies in this series. But the original Saw really creeped me the fuck out. Mm, that's a good one. The first one, where it was super low budget and it was just focusing. That's still a great movie. You can like, put if you yourself guys have, in there, and what decisions would you make? These yeah, people have very exactly. hard decisions to make. And you like know, I'll, it, I'll tell it's you not I, over the top with like a, a retarded twist. Like it's got a, a good, pretty believable twist. Like I, I like it. See, the thing is, I feel like with enough time, you could saw through that chain. Like, like, like the, the, the whole movie, no. he's, he's like, yeah, the whole movie, he spends so much time like talking to the other guy and like not even bothering with the saw anymore. And he was like, oh, the saw's broke. Well, you hold the blade. Mm -hmm. Maybe you take your sock off and wrap it around the blade, and make yourself a little handle and you slowly saw the fucking chain off bro like 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 i it, 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 the metal on the saw is gonna wear all the no, way through before not, you get through that chain like that I got, was i that got was experience with chain. this like, okay. like, like i've i've sawn through do you think that he gave them whatever quality or gauge steel like saw or whatever to get through it or do you think if he's gone through that much effort to orchestrate this plan that he would have given them something that he knows isn't going to succeed i don't know that they make a saw blade low grade enough that it won't do the job but they make a chain high grade enough that it can't be cut with a hacksaw. That is possible, I suppose. But I, I suppose I, it's not a hard and fast rule. But usually they're like brassy and yellowy in color, and it wasn't. So it would imply that you could cut it with that saw. Yeah, and, and with enough time, you'd make some headway, I think. You know, like like he should. The whole movie should have been like as they're having conversations, he's still over there, like <laughs> <laughs> you're still not getting anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. I, 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 could, I don't think I'd, I can't saw my fucking foot off. Because look, think ahead, Carrie. You're going to die. As soon as you get that foot, you think you're going to sprint, you're going to hop to like go, go rescue your family member? Like, like no, that's, that's not going to work. Yeah. You're in a very tough spot. Yeah. But that's why I liked it. It yeah. put you in a tough, seemingly impossible spot, and it was really fucked, and they were pretty oblivious or ignorant as to why it was happening at first. I don't know. It just seemed like something... It was easy to empathize with the initial part of it, where you're like, oh, fuck, this appears to just be two guys plucked off the street who are thrown together. And 
this could have just easily been me or you or someone else. I I'm almost afraid to admit it now. And much like Taylor's don't let the subsequent stuff ruin it for you. The end of, is it season six when we met Negan of Walking Dead? Was yeah. Was as powerful to me as, like, so people don't know, basically they're in this RV. They're trying to take a pregnant woman to see a doctor. And Negan and his crew keep blocking the road. And everywhere, he's just like, oh, my God, let's turn it around. We can't deal with these guys. And then they get blocked somewhere else. But the blocking force is even bigger. And then it's even bigger. And it's like, do we fight them? There's five of us and 15 of them. But if this continues, there's just going to be 30 at the next roadblock and 70 at the roadblock after that. I wish we had fought them back when it was fair. And, and you're just like, well, you can't turn back. Like, it, it, yeah, they, they were in such a terrible spot. And I don't know, the lighting and the production and the whole thing just worked on me to make it as good as a horror movie. It absolutely was for me as well. Um, when Negan like, like shows his face and he gets a, and, and like, like the, up until this point, the odds were never over overwhelming like this. We'd never seen a group of more than like 25 people. And there's just a convoy of these motherfuckers and their ability to block those roads the way they did. They, it, for people who don't know, they sawed down dozens of enormous pine trees and like laid them across. It, it's clear that like lots of manpower and, and like material is being used. They're, they're, it's a show of force as much as it is a blockade. And then when they're, they're all on their knees and he's got that bat, I was genuinely afraid, uh, like, like, like for the characters. Like, like I felt a little sick to my stomach. I was full of dread. And then he kills Abraham and, then, and, and someone pops off and hits him, right? You know, the, um, the Daryl does. And then he's like, what did I tell you? Someone steps that light, I'm going to shut that shit down. And you're like, oh, no, <laughs> Daryl. What have you done? He's going to shut that shit down. He already said he would. You forgot? He just said it before he bashed the big guy's brains in. Like, and that, that was when I reached peak levels of, of afraid for the crew. And then when he takes... Glenn. Um, Glenn. He kills Glenn, and then he takes Rick for that ride. I was literally sick to my stomach at that point. I was a little nauseous after seeing uh, Glenn's brain, uh, eye pop out of his head. And like like... As, it was as much the eye popping out of his head and, and Maggie's reaction to it as it was Rick's reaction. He's just shattered. He's all teary-eyed by the end of it and just completely... Sh like, like, I think he's going to cut his hand off with that hatchet. I didn't know what was going to happen. And then he like gets Carl's hand out there and he's going to make him cut Carl's hand off. I was sick to my and, stomach. Yeah, it, it that felt was like fucked a, up. Rick is missing a hand in the comics. So yeah. as a guy who's also read the comics, that like, like oh, hey, we're, we're going to sync that up now. You know, we're going to make this two together. But, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, that was a, that was one Pretty of the scariest uh, TV moments I'd ever Have seen. Have you started The Expanse? No, I haven't. Um, I, uh, I've been playing a, a lot of video games with, uh, online. That's been what taking up into? an enormous...